Lena mid. They can Newbies storm uh, against Disruptor and it's a little tough, but it's falling the Kunkka a bit. Maybe could go for a courier snipe. Vega just really trying to get the best out of this early landing phase. And as we see already, Afterlife was able to snipe up that wave. Kaka's trying to chase him as much as possible. We'll swing and a miss on the torrent, but that wave belongs to Batrider now. And there's that tree. He shows up, starts beating down SCCC and actually secures the first blood. Oh, and a courier's coming. Root the courier and take it down. Oh, one more punch. Boom. Man, that tree hit so freaking hard. Courier's got have a good interrupt for the MP Center if they have like oh, the man. ice path follow up. SCC is in serious trouble. They're going to drop down the OBS just to get the extra bit of vision, but look, he's getting involved. It's Silent showing up. A force rotation is going to be there. The Sonic Wave is going to be committed to go for the finish. A rotation does come out, but they probably get like five gold for killing him. <laughs> yes, right. He is way down there. Uh, but it looks like he will have his life saved. It's, 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 it's what, 50 plus like Ooh. net worth divided by 40 or something? Chalk is dead. Yeah, that was something that would be a great follow through of action. G's gonna get spotted. The X is gonna be coming out, but Silent drops down the static storm right on top of their head, and G's gonna be able to make it away to safety. And now it could be a turnaround play coming in from Vega. He's riding out Kaka, the weaker link at the moment. Sonic Wave goes through, but is not able to catch and get the finish on this one. Vega may need to create some space and back up a bit. Meanwhile, on the other side, Faith lays down the ice path, gets good connection for Silent, and he's gonna be overpowered here and taken out. KP will be able to pick up the last hit and it is right after it hit. Uh, looks like Troll might be able to get this tower on top and Newbie are lacking a lot of ultimates. So no. Sunstrike set up with the burrow. Troll trying to run his way out, but it does look like the bear is able to get a grab That's on a him really on the other side. Samuel peeks in and paints it out. They know this is happening now. Nine is a bit low on life. It looks like they spotted the tree and they're gonna make their move. Burrow strike. And also with the ice path, they will lock him down with that's, plenty of power. That's a the gap. Because now they the, can't do it. The Fury Slice ran out uh, on the on the Roshan. So, okay, but they will get a follow-up support takedown. It does look like getting a hold of a uh, little Silent right there. This is a pretty tricky point in the game right now. Really considering here. It looks like Silent's back and he can TP in. I'd imagine he has Static Storm at the ready for this one. So we can see Vega swing it all out. And even here comes Aloha Dance, but they catch him. Huge stun setup and with the Ice Path 2, they unload a serious amount of firepower and just rock the troll and the Batrider down. My god, beautiful convenient setup right there. G was saying in that interview where he, he still kind of felt like the team was still working about being a team and not just like individuals. But here we go. Epicenter, set up and knock him down. Quick pick off onto Sayoma. Because he died at the Roche pit. Yeah. Very uh, possibly game deciding fight. I'd hate to call it that quick. But we'll see if Vega can kind of get back in this one. They've already made their move in. The big bad bear slashes down that bat right and he's going to get denied even longer for that blink. He's the closest one between them and the rest of the team, and he could be the one to spot the smoke and just tank the gank, which is more than fine for Newbie. All right, you know how to tame a dragon, but you know, it's it's not the worst thing in the world. With ult is okay versus BKB, Queen ult, uh, Batrider ult, and free ult, but they don't have any damage to BKB. They get a pullback, it's on Kaka, they will take down the Kuka support. Another successful game. Poker, mm -hmm. and then Ursa already has the, uh, already has BKB, and then they have cheese, they can do a lot more. Then their high ground actually becomes strong, because they have the items to back it up. But, there, yep. All they have left is that shrine. It's usually no access points whatsoever. And the Roach Primer is looking pretty damn good for Doobie. AB goes for an Epicenter into a Sunstrike combo. Fat Rider. He is dead. Oh, Sayoma also to go down here, is forced to dish out the root, but <laughs> Mr. Moogie will just on the side and, and try to prevent Newbie from moving forward here. It looks like. Okay, moving in now. Oh, and just shreds apart the Kunkka. With the power of the BKB, he just walked past the Ice Path. They're able to get the lasso catch and grab and takedown of SCCC, and it's going to be Vega looking to unload. They wipe down three. They'll only lose a Disruptor. Just a try to move in and get a good fight and then maintain the area of the Roshan, take it for themselves. The smoke's popped. The detection's ahead of him, but they are going to be able to try to make the jump there for the troll before he has the BKB go off, but he gets moved out of the way of the path, pops the BKB, turns around, and Mance fights the bear. But the bear is able to shrug it off a bit, but now gets locked in this place with the bash, and it's just a low audience going crazy right now. He's able to shred right through the bear. Faith goes down too, and it is going to be a quick escape coming out from SCCC.
was that a force that shoved him like away from the trouble he was able to get the BKB off and now they're able to spot out SCCC and they finish it too. But this big error coming though, they're one that's looking to press things forward and try to maybe consider high ground push. SCCC moves in with the bungee. They send them back before the X even is committed. They will get the finish on tier two, and then suddenly it's going to be a jumping from Afterlife. The pullback's there, they quickly stop him in his tracks, and now it's going to be Moogie looking to go in, and he gets the finish. Meanwhile, running on board, it's going to be the troll. He is doing work onto the Invoker. He's trying to run out the other side, and he will be fine. Now a new approach from Newbie. KP gets the stun, but the troll gets a living armor. He's able to run clean away. Glimpse on back, and this. All right. Now it's going to be Newbie defending. Now the tables have turned in this game. And they're unleashing what they got to spam out the way, but the move has been made. Immediate Yules is going to be there. The troll turns it around and looks to focus fire down Kaka. That means there's going to be no boat in this fight. He looks to go for the next target. It's going to be the Invoker. He gets off the Ghost Walk and runs on back. The rest of Vega, though, they're eating a lot of spell damage here, and they could crumble down. First drop is going to be silent, and now they look to get a hold of a low audience. Can they get the finish here? They're going for it. They will get the Aegis down. They get the follow-up takedown on G, and Newbie could quickly gather around and get the finish on the Troll 2, and it looks like they will. Newbie have been able to hold the high ground and get the better end of this fight. Invoker had a buyback, though. They, but I think it's kind of necessarily giving them light up. Yeah. Lots of CC, lots of lockdown, lots of and all that. Jumping commitment here from Afterlife. They're going to go for the pullback play, but again, he's going to get Yules up right away. They're going to drop down the Macropire in this choke point. But Troll, he's running in. He's got a double damage, and he just... Severs down deep. Jakiro, really no chance at all to survive, but Newbie are able to create the space to make it out, and now they have a new approach moving in. They're gonna get a hold of the Queen! She is able to make it away. Living Armor will also help her out. Need to wait a little bit longer, it looks like KP and the rest of Newbie are smoked Trolls up. mid. KP, long jump to get it. His team's waiting behind him here a bit. They're gonna lay down the Ice Path and the Macro Pyre. Now, Afterlife able to move in there. They don't quite catch him with anything, so he gets the full pullback oh onto God. the bear and burst him down. No okay. one could stop the bat. I take back what I said about <laughs> Bat Rider. <laughs> He doesn't he have BKB. You. He shows you. He goes in without a BKB and he gets it done. And they're looking to do more, but look at this. Turn around KP. Epicenter is going to be there. And G now begins to move in. He's got his BKB. He's unleashing everything he can. Newbie going to be forced back a bit. On the other side, Abyssal Slam Down comes out. The buyback return is going to be there for U9. Good burrow approach. Can they get the finish? Troll's able to run out the other direction and sidestep the tornado. And he's heading all the way back up the other direction, but the chase is on. Can G be there to help him out? KP dives on forward a bit while on the other side... Oh, you know who used that front. shrine earlier? Oh, yeah, it's G! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. They take That'd down KP. So e Dead set on that troll in the mid lane. It's just... Trolls the Bat Rider came in right from behind and took him down. And now it's Troll inside the pit looking to go for the finish. But suddenly Newbie jumping to action right now. They are going to get the lasso grab to hold and tie down the bear. The Roach is going to get dropped. And it's the Troll who picks it up. But he could end up losing that Aegis life right away. He gets blasted out from the pit and right next to the arms of Newbie here. He is going to ditch out the Tomahawks. Look to stay alive. He manages to get the turnaround finish. Takes down the Ursa. He's going to be out. Die back for him. The rest of Newbie scramble to potentially make it away, but not before other casualties. Kaka also going to be... I, I, actually, <laughs> I still can't believe he got that clutch-ass lasso when everyone could have stopped the, the pullback. They just weren't expecting it. Also, even Ursa could have built a, an X to deal with the lasso. Burrow's coming up from KP. A new lasso's going to be there. It's a pullback for SCCC, and he's suddenly gone. An immediate buyback will come out, but this is the final hurrah potentially for Newbie to defend. They're already going to be losing this top set of racks. Vega will leave the catapults to finish the job, and they're moving on to the next horizon. Now a new tier three perform, and there's still no Ursa for about 35 seconds. It's all on the wizard. SCCC dishing out everything he can to slow them down. KP moving into action. They drop down the stag store, and he gets the self heals off, and he's going to pop into a new silence. Macropire also going to be committed and dropped. They pop the dust to scout him out. SCCC puts oh, his God, focus though onto the troll. Hits with a cold snap and will be able to get the Aegis down. Vega, low on mana from the others. Troll can't move out from the ice wall while G moves into action and quickly snipes down Kaka. Put back into the grave. G, can he make it out though? He already blinked in the action. Is low on mana. Dual up. Ice pass there from Faith. Hits him with a dual breath, and the Abyssal Fall will be there. G also going to be going down. No buyback for this man. Sayoma oh can't God. make it away. They catch him with the burrow, and he's going to be going down too. And Troll's like, ah, I got the shrine.
in a normal game because of the dispel on the meal near. Like once you have meal near and the spell life steal, you're you just life steal insane amounts. But jump in for Moogie and immediate takedown of the disruptor. No stack storm. We'll be here for this defense. What level is he? Oh my goodness. This up so quick. Macro fire. Moogie moves in. He wants a tier three. There's the troll shadow bling on forward, and he's looking to man fight him with the troll ulti, but he gets hit right away. Has to step out the other direction. Not looking to commit a BKB too early. Now the lasso grab pullback onto Faith. Faith will get his sub fuels, but Kira's going to be going down. Not a juicy Damn, kidnapping there, but once you force on BKBs, you're not going to be as strong because your cooldown will be up. That's fast. Stun here from KP. He had already been next up. Bungie on back. They actually conveniently catch down the troll. Meanwhile, Silence quickly obliterated as the troll was locked in his place. Nice hit and run right there, and it's going to be Newbie with the numbers of KP in and right back out. While in the mid lane, they get a good setup here for the tree, and they could suddenly get rid of the support staff. The follow-up lasso's there, but the bat's trapped inside. G's looking to make his move in and trying to go for the finish of KP, but KP gets the Yules off and avoids that trouble. G now suddenly was short on mana. The troll is trying to scratch the back of the bear, but can't get enough done through that ulti. The torrent's going to be going out. G's now the one in trouble. The bear does end up going down. G's trapped with inside and finally gets popped. Good tornado gets the catch onto the tree. KP comes on in from the backside with a good epicenter. Will help them get the finish in the takedown of the tree. And now from SCCC gets the focus onto the troll. Evaporates all of that mana. And troll. Really need a Yules to deal with the X though. It's crazy how much KP is able to get away with because of the X. Yeah. The tornado onto the bat as he heads to the other side. They're gonna catch him. With the Burrow and the combo coming out, the Invoker definitely blasts him out of this game. And now they're looking for a new approach, looking to go for Moogie before SEC can come around the corner. He's fending off a lot of the damage. The Static Storm going to be dropped right on top of the Invoker, but he steps away from it, turns around, and begins to go to work onto the Troll. They slash him from behind. He's going to get forced on forward. He's able to get off the Tomahawks and tries to get a hold of Kaka, but now he's surrounded and he's getting kited down. The Sheep is going to lock him in his place. They are able to get the finish onto U9, though who is out for good, so if they could somehow take down this Invoker, it would be a huge boost to Vega, but he slips out the other direction. Meanwhile, though, G takes down Kaka. He's out. How's in gold banked up? I imagine he's got his buyback available to him now. So they're going to have to take him down twice like the last time. A move in. This time the Bat does have that BKB, and he's able to get the pullback on KP. KP does have a buyback, though. And he uses it right away. Now the attention is going to be on the Tier 3. There goes the Glyph. Trying to creep on in. There's a Guru. Gets the connection onto G. SCCC tries to focus down the Queen of Pain. Impossible here. She does not have a buyback. Tries to go for it, but then that's when G pops the BKB. Looking to make his move in. He tags the Shrine and tries to heal on up. SCCC makes it the other direction. Tornado's a fly in here. But look at G. He's been going to work onto the racks. It looks like they are going to be able to clear it out. If Vega could get this and walk away with their lives, it already feels well worth it. It's still going to be about 25 seconds before U9 is back into play. And Vega have already gone to work on the third tier three. They already got it down. And Newbie are going to be forced to step into action now. About 10 more seconds. There goes Afterlife. No more BKB going to be available. So after the last was there, they're going to already use them up. The Epi's going to be coming out. They're looking to go for the burst. Can they get G down in time? They're trying to do it. Can't quite get it yet. Tornado's going to get him in the air right now. But as he comes back down, he blinks on board and looks to go for the finish on the SEC and is able to get it. Now the buyback's going to be forced out now. They will get down the Queen with that first life and they get the setup on the tree. Now they await the return of the Queen of Pain, STC, waiting for the blink on the way back, and there it is. BKB's there, though. They're waiting for it to end, and they got him with the Sheep. Reminder, there's no buyback here for G. If he goes down, he tries to blink away, but they suck him right back in. And they take him down. Aloha Dance, eyes on a prize though. Got Megas a long time ago. And yep. Out. <laughs> yep. All right, newbie. Down the mid lane. Come back for those items. <laughs> and here we go. Newbie have to go all in at this point to stay alive. They are down nearly 30,000 net worth. They're going to try to move in and go for the immediate finish. They will get the Batrider down. Out for two minutes without a buyback. No lassos to fear. G still needs 50 seconds. The tree is back now. But this is all on the troll. And uh, they're. Forget the Rex, they're going for the Tier 4s. They have to. They have to, they have to, and they're going. Troll is getting hit hard, and he only has five seconds of BKB. We watch the split screen as the Tier 4s are also going to be in trouble from the side of Newbie. Newbie, are the team moving in, though? And they're looking to blast him down. KP in a lot of trouble. He's trying to stall him out. They're moving in for the Tier 4s at the same moment. 
Can they get it down? It's about an equal pacing here on both sides of the base. Troll rushing in, trying to go to the fish on Moogie. Can he get it done? Moogie pops the ulti, and he's trying to slash what he can. It's the shrine in trouble for Newbie, and it looks like it's going to be Vega who are going to get it done. Newbie can't quite get it. They fight with everything they have, but it's just not enough. Vega, clinch it and keep it.